everybody, it's Melanie. Happy Tuesday. So if you watched my video yesterday, you know that this entire week I am dedicating to my fall favorite makeup picks or my favorite fall makeup picks. <laughs> Yesterday was top five favorite fall blushes. Today is my top five favorite fall eyeshadow palettes. And I have an honorable mention for today because I just couldn't not include it. Um, it's something that isn't necessarily easy to get anymore, but if you ever see it like on a discount website like Hot Look or um, like on eBay or something, I think it's totally worth snagging, but we'll talk about that at the end. So again, if you missed the blush picks from yesterday, I will list that video down below, but let's get into the eyeshadow palettes. I love eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> I made sure that all of these were available. I will, of course, link them down below for you. Let's get started. Okay, the Lorac Unzipped Palette. I feel like I don't talk about this one very much, but it's honestly one of my favorite palettes. I love this one for fall because to me fall is really all about like smoky eyes and jewel tones and this has some beautiful like rose gold jewel type tones in it. It's honestly one of the prettiest palettes ever and I don't think that it gets enough love on YouTube. It really is such a beautiful palette. Um, what I like about these particular shadows in here is they're actually not quite as powdery as some of the other Lorac eyeshadow palettes are, and they're just so pretty. Um, you've got mattes in here, you've got some shimmers. They're absolutely stunning. Any of these matte shades in your crease with any of these shimmery shades on your lid make the perfect beautiful fall eye. I just feel like if you are someone who gravitates towards rose tones as like your jewel tone of choice, <laughs> this is a really great one to get. So the Lorac Unzipped Palette is my first choice. Okay, this is actually readily available again and I'm so glad because for a while there, I thought they had discontinued it, but apparently now it's back. You can get it at both Ulta as well as Sephora. What is it? It is the Tarte Rainforest After Dark palette. So what I love about this is you get such beautiful, like, purple jewel tone shades in here, um, as well as two really beautiful, like, darker crease colors that can enable you to make just a beautiful smoky eye for fall. Um, also, this gold color here adds just, like, a pop of, like, gold in the center of your lid of, like, a jewel toned eye is just so, so pretty. So this palette right here, um, I think it's actually pretty affordable too. I want to say it's like $38. Don't quote me. Again, I'll put it down below for you guys. But this whole, like, the whole palette in and of itself is fantastic. But for these eyeshadow palettes here, like, top notch. If you're looking for some purple shades to add to your collection, these are beautiful. They're buttery. Hi. Hi. But this looks like the other of Hang on one second. <laughs> Back. Sorry about that. She needed yogurt. <laughs> okay, so the Tarte Rainforest After Dark palette I think is absolutely beautiful. Also, the blush that's in here, this is not about blushes, but this is a really great neutral blush to be able to wear when you do a nice like purple jewel toned eye look. So anyway, this guy here is definitely like, it had to make it into the top five. Let's keep going with some purple shades. <laughs> Mine is the original version of this palette. It is the Laura Mercier Pro Artist Palette for Eyes. They originally released this, I want to say it was in like 2013. And then just recently they re-released it. I guess it was just really popular and people loved it. And I know exactly why. It's because it's absolutely beautiful. Um... You can find this at Sephora. It has the most gorgeous purple shades. I really think that fall is like the perfect time of year for purples. And the shades that are in here are just absolutely beautiful. This African Violet shade here, this guy right there is just so, so pretty. 
Putting that on your lid with any of these shades in the crease just gives you like the most gorgeous look. And um, I really think that for the quality and the amount of shadows that you get in here, even though this is a slightly more expensive palette, it's definitely a worthwhile investment if you are looking for some really pretty purple eyeshadows. It's it's so pretty, you guys. I know sometimes it can be hard to like justify a palette if it's on the more expensive side, but I feel like palettes are a great way to go because you get a good amount of variety and like... I mean, you're bound to wear any of these shades, like, at some point, right? Like, they're just, they're such great neutrals. I think of purples as neutrals. <laughs> Maybe not everybody does, but, um, and I'm getting this, like, all over me. <laughs> but these are so, so pretty, you guys. Um, if you have never seen this one in person, definitely head to a, to a Sephora and check it out and swatch it. The shadows are really creamy and buttery. Um, you can get some fallout, so just you know, kind of be prepared for that, but it's just such a gorgeous palette. Um, the new packaging is a little bit, um, like more sleek. It's not quite as puffy as the original one is here. Okay. I had to, I had to bring it up because <laughs> this palette, I love this palette. Um, I know this is kind of hit and miss for some people. It's the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. I was so excited for this to come out. This is an all matte palette and it is perfect for this time of year. You are getting the most gorgeous matte fall browns, rusty shades, like just gorgeous, gorgeous neutrals here. I feel like this palette is one that you have to be a little bit careful with because the pigmentation on these guys are crazy. Like, you need to start out with like a light hand. But what I like about this is she gave you these three shades at the top here to sort of, act, well, these two act as transition shades. This one is more of like a highlight or like a blending type shade. But starting out with either of these two and then putting any of these darker colors in your crease with the lighter shades on your lid, just so, so pretty. I cannot wait to use the heck out of this bad boy during the fall months. I'm actually surprised that she released this particular palette during essentially like the summertime because to me this is much more of a fall palette than anything else. But I love it. I'm so glad that I have it in my collection and it's definitely one of those ones that I just feel like is so versatile. Okay, before the honorable mention, <laughs> it's another Lorac palette. This is the Lorac Pro 2 palette. The reason I chose the two is because this one is filled with um, some really pretty jewel tones that are so pretty on the lid with just a really nice neutral crease color. Like for example, using this light brown as a crease shade and then, you know, even this like navy, the um, chrome, the jade on the lid, any of those guys on the lid, it's just so, so pretty with some false lashes. These shades are absolutely stunning in this palette. Um, they're a little, they lean a little bit more towards the cooler end of the spectrum, um, which isn't necessarily everybody's taste, but I tend to really like cooler shades, and if you do too and you don't have this palette, this is one definitely worth picking up, especially for the fall time. Um, so, so pretty, and um, just a really, really great choice for this time of year. Now, my honorable mention is the Kat Von D um, Lady Bird palette. This is discontinued, so um, you would have to find it at like, you know, like a Hope Look type of sale or um, maybe on like, I don't know, like eBay or something. I have seen it out there. People are sort of charging a crazy amount for it, but if you can ever find a good deal on it, it's totally worth picking up. Let me actually show it to you. Um, my friend Stephanie actually originally got this, and at first I was like, yeah, no, no, wouldn't want that. But then, like, once I saw it in person, I was like, this is the prettiest thing ever. I have no idea why she discontinued it. A lot of the colors in here are similar to what you find in the Shade and Light palette, but, I mean, you know, you've got some of, like, the same shades in there but there's definitely also some differences. So 
this one is just one that I've loved for a couple years now and I'm actually wearing this like rusty brown shade in my crease today and what am I wearing on my lid this shade right here so I have wolf in my crease and unrequited yeah on my lid and I just think that it made like the prettiest like kind of neutral fall eye um, it's definitely a little bit smokier with that darker like ready brown in my crease but I just, oh, I love this one, and I, there's no way that I, like, could not, not mention it. So, anyway, these are my fall, <laughs> my fall eyeshadow picks for you guys. Um, let me know what your favorite fall eyeshadow palettes are down below. Um, you'll notice that there is nothing from the drugstore here because I really, when it comes to eyeshadow, that's one of the things that I really recommend, like, saving your money for and investing in because I think that for me drugstore eyeshadows don't have like the quality that a lot of these do so anyway let me know what your picks are down below and in tomorrow's video I'm going to be sharing with you my top five eyeshadow singles because <laughs> I know not everybody wants to invest in like an entire palette so I have the singles for you guys tomorrow and um there goes the ding on my phone. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.